picked up this machine, ready to take it to work today. Here on the property today it's a little soccer field and what we're trying to do here is just get rid of the dew worms so we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna roll it and then we'll bring in some loads of sand and then in some loads of dirt and that's it for this whole property so I'm gonna get to cutting Here we are with step one done. Just cut the grass with the lawnmower. So that was probably the easiest step of the whole process. Now we're gonna get to rolling and then we gotta move these soccer goals out of the way. Alright, so I'm going to be working on this pole. We've got some utilities here. We've got electrical and then we've got our water line is the big one in the center and then on the left is the irrigation pipe. This one's going to be used for a tap. This one's for electrical outlet. And this is just the end of the irrigation. But the, it's pretty loose. So that post wasn't in there very far uh, and we want to get it in there deeper so it's pretty solid so I'm just going to pull these back start digging the hole So this is the end of day one. Got the tractor there, which we started off with, and then we rolled the whole yard. And it's actually, we could probably leave it like this. So it's flat enough to use as a soccer pitch, but um, we're not gonna do that because there will still be dew worms when it rains. So there's a path 
right there that comes up but last year last season we uh, put in this line here and you can see it sort of goes all the way and it snakes its way through there and around the corner out to the front and there's even a fence line back there so uh, we're just going to roll that because you can still sort of see the dirt so hopefully that'll cover it up a little bit and then the rest of the project here we're going to run irrigation some drip heads and some and some emitters so we've got the hoses set up here or the pipes set up here at center field and then we also run a line across the center to the other side and I'm putting that post in deeper so then once we set up the tap and whatnot there we're just gonna follow along the fence line put some more irrigation in for all the trees and that little middle patch there and then the next part of the project is to bring in some sand so we're going to do a bunch of loads of sand and cover the whole field and then that's supposed to get rid of the dewworms from coming to the surface and then after that we'll bring in some dirt and cover it up and then freshly seed it and then hopefully for next year it'll all be ready to play on again. we are using today it's a Wacker Newson RD12 and it's a pretty simple control setup so on your right you've got your transmission so that's reverse that's neutral that's forward and then on the right there or I mean the left you've got the park brake and then Basically, you've got your transmission speed, low, high, and that's where you start it. You've got a kill switch, and then you've got your gas light, and then this is a vibrator, which you touch the button there. And then it has water capabilities, so this is like less water, more water, and then water on, water off. Pretty simple setup. And then on the back here, you've got your water tank. So we filled it up so that we could uh, have more weight on the back. And then that's where you fill it up with gas. Um, but that's it, it's pretty simple and it's got some decent tie down straps on the sides. So it's pretty simple to haul around. Runs the same way as a zero turn tractor and it is pretty simple to use. All loaded up for the end of day one. We'll be back tomorrow for more hard work. I got this top one all in place now, it's looking good. But for doing a single man job and trying to align three points, pretty hard. So I just take, this is a three and a half inch screw and I just set it a little bit below the board so that I'm able to place the board on here and then I can come in with the nail or the screw and just lift it up and place it right where I want it and pin that in there. And then once that's there, the board is all balanced because of this one. So then do the same thing. And once the nails or screws are in, then I can just go along and fasten the rest. D 
day three on the job. Got the skid steer over there. And yesterday we aerated the whole area. So that's hopefully to get the uh, the sand to sink into all these holes. You can see the plugs right there. So deep holes in there with the skid steer. We're just gonna plan is just to use the sweeper and sweep up most of these plugs here so that it's a smooth ground. And we've got a load of sand to put in and there'll be lots of loads of sand. So that's the plan for today with the yard. And then for what I'm doing, doing this irrigation, I dug little trenches yesterday, right there all the way along for this one. Just gonna do some drip line. I already put that red connector in there. And then I'm also gonna finish up with this post. And then all the way along the edges there, I ran the pipe. You can see it's sort of squiggling along the fence. So today I'm probably gonna attach that with a bunch of clamps that we got. And then do a few tees and just sort of work my way around. But this is how I'm starting out. All right, so for my process here, I've uncovered the pipe on the right, and then I dig a little trench. I've already dug the other side out. You can do it just one-sided, but it's easier to have both sides clear. And then I just remove the grass. It'll just place back on top afterwards. That's good, the, the line now can come out from the pipe there. And I'll dig this in a little more. So then the line can come from the pipe up and then to water the tree. So then I use this fancy little tool here just to poke the pipe. That's the tool, just use that little tip. So make sure the pipe is clean. Make sure it's about in line and then just wiggle it around puncture it this pipe is pretty soft so it's not too hard to puncture it and then just pull it out we want to make sure it's clean and there's no um no dirt's getting in there then next i got these um these drip heads so what you do with this is usually you just put it right in the hole and it would just drip from there. So that's what I'm doing here. Stick it in, give it a little wiggle. I wanna make sure the tube comes back to normal size. But now in order to get it to the tree, I use some of this smaller hose. Fine. So measure it out by plugging it in here. Make sure it's still clean. Plug it in on this side. Sometimes this is more of a two-handed job. Okay, so once that's good, I just sort of lay the line in there. I'll pull in this dirt just to hold it down. And lay the line in there and measure it to about the tree. So I'll cut it right about there. So here I've got my cutters. Snip. So now that's done. Run this piece through. So just sort of set that on there again. And then this piece comes out of the ground right up there. So I might put a little, another little slot in there and then to finish it off, there's a, another attachment. It's the same piece. Um, so I'll just put that on there right in here. Now, this one is a little different because it doesn't fit in as well. So that's it for this part of the uh, drip line. I just attached it in there, ran the line, and then you can follow it around. It's just sitting there in the tree. 
Now, I leave this hole open so that when we turn the line on, we can check to make sure that this is still attached properly, not leaking. Um, but since the pipe is complete, I just put the grass back on it. It also helps hold it in place. But now I'm on to the next tree. project I'm working on here is hanging this irrigation pipe so this one doubled up but all it is is I just use this hose clamp here open it up and just screw right in pretty simple uh, we're trying to keep the labeling up so you can see the little white marks so we're trying to keep that up to uh, make sure that the pipe is decently straight. The reason we want it straight is so that it doesn't want to bend out of alignment like when it heats up. So you can see here it's still wobbly. So we're going to come back afterwards and probably put two more clamps in between. But right now we just put a clamp at each of the trees. So there's... One there for that tree and then the one there that I was showing you for this tree and we just went along and did that and the reason we did that is so that when we put a spray head a little nozzle stick it in there and it can spray out into the tree so I just went through a bag of 15 to do all these trees along this side uh, and then I got some more this is all I'm using. It's a two inch decking screws. Decking screws and they're brown. I like them better than the green ones. And then just the hose clamps. All I seem to have to do is just open them up a little bit. So you go open them up. It's more flat. But in the end, it seems to grab pretty decently. And then, yeah, we want a little bit of slack on it so that it can move and expand and contract. Going around this corner where I'm starting here now, I'm just gonna pin it to the corner there and then just start along. Now there aren't some trees in the middle where that hole is dug, but I'm still gonna put them in because we gotta run a pipe underground. With <laughs> So today's job, we got all the dirt in. Didn't film any of that because that was just a single man project. Got all the dirt in here. Now we're gonna back drag it to make it all level. And you can see right there, leaving a little pile. So we'll clean that up. And then now I'm mixing a big batch of grass seed and then we're gonna spread it all over the property. And then after that, we will use the garden tractor over there drag some harrows over it just to mix the seed in and then this project should be just about finished. Seating it in one direction. 
direction. So we went this way, which is east-west, and the seed was distributed pretty evenly with the spreader, and then we've been using the harrow on the tractor. So it's looking really nice and smooth. Now we're going to go in the north-south direction and just to get extra coverage with the cedar and then the land should be all finished. south pass with the cedar still got a little bit of grass seed left in case I find a spot I need to put some more seed on and then now it's time for the harrows finally finished up and started to water the dirt and the grass seed got a little timer system set up with the irrigation also went along and trimmed in between all the trees so it's looking a lot better this is the end of the project the homeowner is now going to take care of the watering himself so I'm pretty pleased with this project it took a lot longer than we wanted to but there we go, that's the final product. It'll be a great soccer pitch now.